Howdy cowdies, weekly walkabout time at the Collector. We've got another ripping auction this week. Ripping. Heaps of cool stuff. Made in Australia Coke Yo-Yo with the green surround. Made in Australia Coke Yo-Yo -Yo -Yo with the white surround. Two Melbourne Footy Club memberships. Little Essendon bobblehead footballer over the back. You can see his head's loose. But he's in good condition. Couldn't see any damage. The spring's still on the underside of his head. I just didn't want to stick it back on. Josephine Baker, brooch, is amazing little bit. She's got her foot broken off, you can see, but she's cool. And they're nice little fans. Donkey Kong double screen game. The hinge is broken on the, the when it folds back over. The little plastic strip connecting the two screens is still there. Two fantastic chief bartender necklaces. One's in good condition. The other one needs a couple of extra links added. Two more handheld games with the battery covers. You've got Melbourne and other Olympic stuff. Cool pair of 1920s sunglasses in the case over the back, plus a pair of 1920s reading specs. And we've got some cool cameras and stuff. Voigtlander twin reflex, Yashica twin reflex, another Yashica, little spy camera, some nice postcards of sort of Victorian Melbourne scenes. And this is a nice Leica 35mm uh, camera there with the accessories and stuff like that to go with it. I think it's a Leica standard one. From memory, I think from about 1935, something like that. Some nice bits in the jewellery cabinet. There you go. Fantastic big sort of convex plastic Perspex petrol open sign. Really nice Art Deco mirror with those little sort of frosted and cut designs in the two sort of corners. Not a nice sort of blue tinge to it. And this is pretty cool. A big sort of candlestick. Candelabrum by... Roderick Voss is the designer, manufactured by Mui, M-O-O-I. Really like the big sort of factory sign as well behind it there, the big plastic factory sign, caution, eye protection, protection must be worn. Great little Art Deco three-tier sort of display stand with the mirrored top and base and the shelves go all the way around it. He's fantastic little sort of novelty ceramic figure there. He's a bit broken, he has been footballed couple of times but he's pretty cool little sort of art deco trolley nice little art deco reading lamp there uh, Ed edwardian chaise two nice bits of retro plastic a couple of nice bits sort of advertising mannequins speedo and peter pan we've got some cool vintage clothing hawaiian shirts and band shirts and there's some other cool sort of 1970s ones and 80s ones and stuff in amongst um, some sort of metal flower wall decorations and some sconces. There you go. Sword rack with all the wooden swords. I've forgotten what they're called. Plus some other extra bits in amongst there as well. A couple of fire extinguishers. Good box of mixed records. Rolling stones, the animals, the monkeys, the kinks. Robin Kenya Kenyatta. Don McLean. There's some good stuff. Arnhem Land. Miss Piggy's. Arrow beak. <laughs> She's ace. Some cool stuff in there. Uh, what else have we got? Old bottles. Another mixed lot of vinyl records. A couple of nice semi acoustic guitars. Nice mid century modern coffee table. Some really cool vintage sort of car magazines. Hot cars. Rotting world. This is all Australian and other hot rod magazines. This is a really good big lot. A uh, big lot of costume jewellery. This box of records sold bloody last week, but someone hasn't picked it up. Some cane furniture. Coffee table. Little side table are nice. Then we've got another little lot of occasional furniture with an Esther 3 Chippendale style. Little drop side on the shelf. There's heaps of coins, all New Zealand coins. Great little lot of kids' toys, micro models hoist over the back, some nice glass paperweights, 1930s gear, more coins, really cool retro dining suite, super, super fern, S-U-P-A, F-U-R-N, made in Western Australia, it's in great condition, little swivel tub chair up the top there as well, and a nice Norwegian designer brown leather. This looks like someone's been using a bit of Soul Glow. <laughs> you actually get that, I'll offer you a job. 
Arts and Crafts Hall Stand. A couple of big sort of carved wooden items. The female figure there and the big wall panel as well. Got a nice Tessa uh, one, two, three, four piece. Uh, 21, I think it is. Lounge suite. Footrest, two armchairs and a nice big three seater. All with the original period upholstery. Pretty amazing big light fitting to hang from the ceiling with the big frosted glass sort of centre in it. Another nice little hall stand, triangular corner one there, coat rack and umbrella. Two more boxes of records, some audio gears, a nice Akai reel-to-reel. -reel. I think it's Akai. Yep. Some old skaties. Little Cyclops pusher. A couple of nice outdoor chairs. Old sewing machine. Two boxes there of all the motorsport motoring books, magazines. Pretty cool old industrial signs. The doors. <laughs> Two volume set, The History of St Kilda. A couple of nice hat boxes. Nice big Tessa coffee table. And the little Rambler boudoir chairs a ripper from good old Bay Road in Sandringham. So we've got the big peacock chair. You don't get more Tisha Adams with that one though. Dressing table mirror. A couple of nice gramophones. First we've got good mix lot of records. Australian stuff. The Kyla Minogue one there. Um, some jazz. Thelonious Monk. Billy Thorpe. Good little mix group. Some cool old tins. Emergency flying ration tins. And an old pennant kerosene one. What else have we got? Binoculars, harmonicas, and a nice little piccolo. Three cool old rotary dial telephones. Three pairs of sort of natural rock bookends. And I've got some more nice paintings this week. Leon Hansen there. Little Jack Courier. Some other bits as well. What else have we got? Come around here. Some cool bits here. Stocking Mender. The new knit. Stocking Mender. Really cool thing with a couple of spare big aluminium legs to go with it. And this is a great little bit, a little sort of salesman sample of point of sale showroom sample of a little Australian mid-century modern day bed. Needs a little bit of a tidy up here and there. It's got one of the little chains supporting the back here, but the other one is loose, so it just needs a new little ring eye. But yeah, cushions are original. Foam's perishing though, that's why they've shrunken a little bit. But yeah, unusual little thing. Uh, modern spiral staircase lamp. Good little collection of retro clocks, microphones, the Doors LP. These are a great lot. The original pair, Hilton, Bay City Rollers, knee-high socks. There you go. They're a lot by themselves, lot number 112. Some scales, winky dolls, some maroon, some remote control cars, little kitsch ashtray, some cool pairs of gauntlets and the big pair of sort of mittens. Marching snare drum, a couple of nice mic stands, some cap guns. He's a ripper, the Akai, I think it is again. Portable stereo system, a little coffin bank in his original box is pretty cool. Nice little sharp uh, clock radio, the world travel bag with the kangaroo, Hona Melodica, TV game, some good dolls, good little lot of Disney stuff, the two little sand buckets. Serviette ring and the little egg cup. The egg cup's a little bit cactus, but still kind of cool. He's got a great look look on his face, that little egg cup. Two nice hats, the bowler. Italian military dress hat. Big lot of sort of barware, retro gear. There's no little fibre aptic section for the lamp, but they're easy to find. These are my favourite bit in the auction this week. <laughs> I think they're Bambina or something is the brand, the little frog maracas. Uh, some nice glass ball shades, nice voltmeter, slide rules. These are unusual, these little copper bowls with the lids. And each little bit is a separate section, so you can slightly, slowly make the sort of hole in the centre bigger. Unusual things. A couple of nice bits of mid-century, the West German and the Atala. Uh, Melrose. Italian glass. These are all damaged items. It's a shame that this cat lamp is damaged. She is fantastic. But you can see it's pretty cactus around the bottom and around the top. 
She's fantastic as well. The novelty ashtray, it's just that she, her legs are broken. And the little wall plaque as well. She's got a big chip there off her lip. Some good little collection of tins. Another nice collection of sort of chef uh, kitchen aids and stuff. This is a great bit. The big door poster. Two-piece door poster featuring a chimpanzee sitting on the toilet. <laughs> Some nice rotary dial telephones. Some cool old microphones, including the handheld Tannoy. There's no microphone in it, but geez, it's cool with that sort of deco cooling fins on the back. Little push button on the front there. You've got some novelty souvenirs from Ayers Rock and the Olgas. You've got the little piccolos and this nice little stacking cup set. Interesting old motoring books. Turtle Bridge, missing the battery cover with a nice Walkman and some other stuff. Keystone 8mm camera. Some Polaroids and the Kodak disc camera. Some more good cameras. Little lot of clocks. The Pifco Massager. Another good camera. Um, this is a cool lot of Hot Rod cartoon magazines. Some Michael Jackson stuff, CD sets, and the nice um, bad picture disc. What else have we got down the bottom here? Some nice Art Deco light shades. you got the bronze cowbell. Quite heavy. And so is this little fella. So he's a little bronze figure as well. Fantastic pair of the shadow box frames from the 1950s. Uh, retro plastics. A little lot of sort of nursery china and stuff. A little English golly cup and saucer. And two nice bits of English china. What else have we got? Big lot of Australian ceramics there. I think Studio Anna, but there's chips. All the Brownie Downing are good. A couple of bits there of Martin Boyd. Nice little set of three Bakelite canisters. Three nice Art Deco step light shades. Good little retro Spanish tea set or part set. These are really nice. A couple of original commercial illustrations for butlers or waiters. I really like that waistcoat. They're both signed Whitey, W-H-I-T-E-Y. Some Bennett's Australian Pottery. That's a f uh, flower aid to go in the trough. And what else have we got down the bottom here? We've got some more nice stuff. Italian made 1980s snake china. Um, a sort of brass Diana lamp base, a ceramic Mammy notepad holder, big ceramic bobblehead, a little bit damaged there, the fruit on the on, sitting on his lap. Pretty cool catalogue for Hawker Brothers furniture, all 1930s deco looking stuff. Nice little bit of John Campbell, another plastic Mammy notepad, fantastic retro clock. Manual of explosives, military pyrotechnics and chemical warfare agents. There you go, it's a book. What else have we got? Really nice little Beswick Disney set. You got a little figural vase. You've got the lovable little sort of 1940s, 50s um, bra display. Nice pair of bookends in the style of Grace Seacombe. Lovely Wilkinson luster vase with the Chinese lanterns. Green painted Bakelite foam. The handset is original green. You can see there's little chips on the side here with the black coming through. All right, you can see that the little bit there has been painted. It's pretty cool. Handset's the only bit original green. The rest is painted green. And then we've got some great stuff down the bottom. A black and white Bakelite Mixmaster. Another Diana lamp base. Really nice little arts and crafts light shade. <coughs> Three really nice green... Art Deco light shades and a fantastic pair of the Diana Art Deco chrome plated wall sconces. No one's ever seen them before. There you go. They're rippers. Anyway, hopefully you saw something you liked. I don't care if you did or if you didn't. We'll see you on Thursday night.